Hi everyone, we got this very interesting problem. We are not allowed to use calculator, but if you look at here, we have bunch of square roots and we can even uh, simplify this problem without using calculator. And this is a very interesting problem, okay? So let's solve it. So let's simplify this problem okay first of all let's write uh, first of all let's rewrite this problem so we have 25 inside the square root minus 24 inside the square root and we have another square root on top of both of them so first of all if you look at here we have square root of 25 and we know that square root of 25 is 5 minus if you look at here square root of 24 we can write the square root of 24 as 4 times 6 inside the square root because 6 times 4 is 24 and uh, we have we have not done anything else other than just factoring out the 24 okay and then we have another square root on both of them okay so let's uh, keep this 5 as it is minus if you look at here uh, 4 is inside the square root and square root of 4 is just 2 that will come out of the square root and then we have inside the square root 6 and on top of both of them we have another square root okay now we will apply a trick here okay since we are not allowed to use any calculator but don't worry we will apply a little trick here okay so the trick is break the 5 as 3 plus 2 we can write this 5 as 3 plus 2 yes 3 plus 5 uh, 3 plus 2 is 5 so this is correct so far minus similarly i will break inside the square root of 6 as multiple of 3 and 2 so let's keep this 2 first as it is and then let's write square root of 6 as 3 times 2 because the factors of 6 are 2 and 3 so 3 times 6 uh, 3 times 2 will be 6 so this is also correct and don't forget the square root that is on top of both of them so <coughs> okay so here we have 3 and then we have 2 minus we have 2 here and if you look at here we have square root of 3 times 2 we can write it as square root of 3 times square root of 2 so from here you can guess if you look at here we have square root of 3 and you have square root of 3 and we can write uh, we can write 3 as square root of 3 square because square and square root will cancel each other and you will left with 3 so that is correct and similarly let's rewrite 2 also as square root of 2 and then whole square and again we have a whole square root on top of everything okay now if you look at if you remember this uh, formula that says a square plus b square minus 2ab is equal to what that is equal to a plus b whole square and i'm gonna apply this formula here as well so by using this formula this guy will be equal to if you look at here instead of a we have square root of 3 so a square plus b square is equal to 2 times a times b so this is gonna be equal to a plus b whole square a is equal to square root of 3 plus what is b yes b is square root of 2 and then sorry minus so if you have a minus here then that is gonna be minus so this is also minus and then this is gonna be square and then on top of it we have a square root of uh, uh, this whole thing and now this square and square root will cancel each other and we will be left with square root of 3 minus square root of 2 
and the absolute value because whenever you cancel square root of anything then you should uh, put uh, you, sh you need to put an absolute value there okay but if you look at here square root of 3 and then you have square root of 2 of course square root of 3 is bigger than square root of 2 so you can just ignore these absolute values and your answer is gonna be square root of 3 minus square root of 2 and this is the most simplified form of this question you cannot further simplify it if you remember these values since these values um, these square roots appear a lot so if you remember these values then it is fine we know that square root of 3 is 1.7 something and square root of 2 is 1.4 something if you remember them you can just plug in values but if you keep your answer up till this stage that is still fine so what we got without using any calculator that this guy is equal to square root of 3 minus square root of 2 and this is our most simplified form of this whole expression thank you